is this misconception too that Igbo girls that once you speak to an Igbo girl, if you see her from from afar, she looks fine, and then the moment she opens her mouth to talk, she sounds ibotic. Even if she sounds ibotic, is she not Igbo? Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I've resurrected from the dead to bring you an Igbo girl tag and from the southeastern region of nigeria although i didn't grow up there i grew up in the south south part of nigeria but this tag is going to be interesting because um, i didn't really grow up in the east i grew up in the south so uh i must see how i do <laughs> this is going to be funny um in case you see me looking down i have the questions in my phone so i'm going to be looking down most of the time uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. So, first question here is, where are you from? I'm from Imo State, Nigeria, Oweri to be precise. That's where I'm from. And what is your Igbo name and the meaning? Well, I don't have just one Igbo name. I have one, two, three, four have four Igbo names um my official two names that are actually written in every document that i have are chidima and uchechi so chidima was given to me by my father uchechi was given to me by my mother and then my unofficial names chidera and chajulam um Chidera was given to me by my godfather and Chiajulam was given to me by my grandfather. Okay. Okay. Um, what are your Igbo nicknames? Well, my Igbo nicknames. <laughs> well, as an Igbo girl, especially if you, your name starts with a Chi, you will definitely have many nicknames starting from Chi Chi, um, Chima. So, um, actually, my Igbo nicknames, uh, I get called Chichi a lot. I get called Dima by my family. My family calls me Dima. I get called Mma. So, yeah. What is the meaning of your name? Okay, Chidima means God is good. Chi there means God. Mma there means good. So, Chidima means God is good. Um, Uchechi means god's will uchi there means will like chi means god so uchi chi means god's will um chidera means what god has written that's what chidera means um chajlam means god will not reject me that's what it means my grandfather gave me that name he called me that name until he died and yeah I'm repping that name <laughs> yeah okay what is the Igbo official food um i don't know if there is a particular official Igbo food because i know that there are different Igbos in nigeria with their different cultural foods you have oha you have uh, nubu which is bitali soup you have um, the one that we call ofo Omeri, which is from where i'm from you have um ofa so there are actually different Igbo dishes there's no of, there's no official Igbo dish that is widely accepted favorite Igbo snack i actually don't have a favorite Igbo snack sorry to my fellow Igbos so i don't have a favorite Igbo snack maybe i would have said um bokba but I, I would not consider it a favorite i won't consider it a favorite but i like it okay what are the misconceptions about evil people <laughs> well <laughs> there, are, there are quite a number of misconceptions about evil people one that evil people like money too much that they could even literally kill their own children for money but that is something that is not particular to just the Igbos. I think that um, people in general like money and there are different things that people would do just because of money. So I really don't understand why people would just attribute it 
solely to Igbo people. Another misconception also is that Igbo people can cheat you of your money and well that also is wrong because even if an Igbo man cheats you of your money a Yoruba man can also cheat you of your money a Yoruba man can also cheat you of your money it is not particular to Igbo people it is particular to human beings okay so please Igbo should stop having those misconceptions about Igbo people what is your favorite Igbo slang? <laughs> Definitely Unamen. Unamen is my favorite Igbo slang. <laughs> Whenever someone says Unamen, it gives me joy. That's my favorite Igbo, Igbo slang. I like that. Okay. When was the last time you visited your village? <sighs> the last time I visited my village was in 2018, December that was for my grandmother's birthday slash get together that she threw for the family so we all went there to be with her that was actually the last time so it's it's almost two years now not quite two years but it's almost two years i'm hoping to go there soon okay make a sentence in Igbo. <laughs> this one go hard though Just give me sentence. <laughs> Ole ihe choriri. That means, what do you want to eat? That's what it means. <laughs> Please, nobody should put, crucify me. I'm not very fluent in Igbo language. I can understand completely. I can understand, but <laughs> when it comes to the fluency, I am ashamed to say that I am not very fluent. How do you say good morning in Igbo language? Uh, there is no particular way, to be honest. There is no particular way that Igbo's greet in the morning. There is Ibolachi, Ututoma. These are two different ways to say good morning in Igbo. There is just Ibola, you know? So, yeah, there is no particular way, each to his own. How many Igbo states in Nigeria have you been to? I have been to... Okay, I've been to Imo state, I've been to Anambra state, I've been to Enugu state, and I've been to Abia state. And Delta state too, because in Delta state, we also have um, Igbos in Delta state. So yeah, I would say five. Have you ever dated outside your tribe? Yes, I have dated outside my tribe. Have you ever dated an evil guy? Yes, I have dated an evil guy. What are evil girls known for? <laughs> we are known to be very beautiful. Adamas. Hmm? Beautiful evil girls. In fact, once you just hear that, ah, once you just hear, oh, that girl is evil, you automatically just imagine that she's beautiful. Oh, my lying? I'm not lying. In fact, you. Anybody can attest that Igbo girls are known to be very beautiful girls. So, what are the misconceptions about Igbo girls? One misconception is that Igbo girls like money. Igbo girls only date for money, and the only time an Igbo girl will agree for you or say yes to you is if you show her money or if she knows she can benefit from it. Another misconception is that every Igbo girl that is fair or Igbo girls are mostly fair, but that's not true. These two misconceptions I've just called now are not true. <laughs> Everybody likes money. Everybody wants to be comfortable. Everybody likes that financial financial security. So no, it is not just evil girls that like money. I'm not going to deny that evil girls like money. Yes, we like money. We want to, you know, see that financial security. We don't want to suffer. If you like to suffer, you don't like money that is your own yes we like money everybody likes money except you don't like money i don't know me i like money and as for every Igbo girl is and um, evil girls are usually fair uh no that's not true um it's not true yes you have um evil girls who are light-skinned you also have evil girls who are 
chocolate skin who are dark skinned we are not just predominantly light skin that's so that's misconception that's a misconception that people have about um, evil girls there is this misconception too that evil girls that once you speak to an evil girl if you see her from from afar she looks fine and then the moment she opens her mouth to talk she sounds emotic even if she sounds emotic is she not evil why is that but although that's a misconception because not every evil girl sounds ebotic i think for you to sound ebotic evil has to be your first the first language that you learned from when you were little but yeah it's not every evil girl is not every evil girl sounds like that and even if an evil girl sounds like that it's not bad i don't understand she should sound in, in english thick whatever next question what is your worst Igbo food? <laughs> My family knows this. Everybody knows it. I can't even. To be honest, I've, I've not even actually sat down to eat it, but I don't like it. It's called. Um, ukwa. <laughs> I can't stand. Ukwa. In fact, if you're cooking ukwa and I'm in the same room with you, I might just run and leave you. I can't. I can't stand the smell, the taste. It just. The consistency, I just you know. I, I heard it's a favorite for most Igbos, but I can't stand it. I don't like it. I think after that, my next would be a fufu, cassava fufu. I don't like it either. Do a welcome to my YouTube channel with and with a typical Igbo accent. <laughs> Um, I should do a welcome to my YouTube channel with a typical Igbo accent. I'll pass. Next question. Who is your favorite Igbo musician? Uh, my favorite Igbo musician would be... Okay, it used to be flavor. It used to be flavor. But now I can't pick. I'm confused. There are so many good artists out there, so I don't want to pick one particular artist. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite Igbo song? Adada, my flavor. That's my favorite Igbo song. <laughs> yes. I always use this song to taunt my sister. I was just like, Ada, Ada, because you know, I'm the Ada, I'm the first daughter. Ada basically means first daughter. And I would always use this song to like taunt my sister, you know, as the Ada, um, um, whatever it is that I think in my head that I am. What was your first reaction when you smelled Ogiri for the first time as it was being cooked? <laughs> To be honest, the first time I smelled hugiri, my mother was cooking it. I thought that somebody let the dustbin out. I didn't, I couldn't comprehend, I couldn't understand what was going on. I went to the kitchen and everyone was smelling like someone just dumped a dumpster into our kitchen. And I was basically almost crying. I smelled it and I was wondering what in the world it was. I hated, I didn't even want, my mother had to explain to me what it was, but I, I, I didn't care to know. I just didn't want. I just didn't want anything to do with it. It, it, it smelled. It, it, it was stinky. But look at me now. <laughs> There's no way I can eat or have soup without ogiri. If I don't smell that dustbin, <laughs> I've eaten or have soup. Anyway, that is the end of my evil girl tag. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have nice things to say to me. If you're evil, please do not kill me. Um, I might do another Igbo girl tag, much better than this one. But yeah, so far this is my Igbo girl tag. And well, thank you for watching to the end. I am very, very happy you were able to stay up to this moment listening to, listening to me. You are the real OG. Yeah, you're the real OG. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please ensure to subscribe to my channel. It will actually take you 0.1 seconds to do so. And please give me a thumbs up. <laughs> If you like this video and if you'd like to see more tags or more videos like this, please also let me know in the comment section below. Bye. Peace out.
Hey friends, welcome to my channel. I am Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Oh, ha, you have um that <laughs> game. Sentence again. Do you have a very fair? Do you have a very fair? Very fair. 